Hello everybody, welcome back. We're back to playing Battletoads for the Genesis. We're playing a bunch of Genesis games that involve reptilians, because last time I played Dinosaurs for Hire, hope you check that out. That was quite a fun game, even though I, I had some pain with it. But now we're in, in Intruder Excluder. And this level sucks because the platforming sucks. Now you see, in the original NES game, you can actually clip through the uh, edges. And it made it much easier, but this one, oh man, you gotta like, you gotta go all the way to one side to get up, and that was really, really difficult. Son of a b- oh, damn it. I wasn't ex- I wasn't expecting them to go to all the way to the left, because they were supposed to just bounce and that was it. But yeah, platforming here sucks. Yes, I'll want that one up without dying. We also want that stick. Because it makes the boss fight much, much easier, which uh, you couldn't do in the original. You couldn't bring a stick all the way to fight Robo Manus because you would just drop it in fear because you shit your pants. What the flying. What the flying kick fucker? Oh yeah, and the springs, they don't work like they should. Making it more difficult. Oh, and playing this two this two this 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 level two players? Oh man, that was killer. Okay, so I had to do that. Again, you didn't have to do that in the in the uh, original NES. Anyways, once I keep the stick with me, we'll be safe. Okay, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Ah, boogers! Oh, that was so close! I almost fell off! Okay, gotta wait for this guy to shoot his stuff. Ah, come on. I have beaten this game alone, uh, thanks to our failed attempts in two-player on the ANC stream. And we reach another checkpoint, and I really don't want to die, otherwise I can't get the stick back. Ah! Oh. Full jump! Oh, that was so close! Could have screwed me, and I would have lost the stick. Oh, are you kidding me? Those flies are so goddamn high. You just had to fuck me over, didn't you? Great, now the boss is going to be much more difficult. By the way, funny story. E. Tyson was telling me about the tr about the trick to... Oh, right, I for fucking God. By the way, that vent actually, in the original, shot the other way around. But there is a little trick. If you jump where the bubbles aren't aiming at you, you will automatically lose all momentum. And this is not supposed to be that close. But it's not that hard either, compared to the original. But yeah, D. Tyson... He was telling me about, like, bringing the stick to Robomanus, and I was like, oh. And I automatically assumed he'd practice it, but guess what? He does it, like, experimental, like, when we got there. And I was like, I was like, oh, thank goodness he knew about that strat. Oh, yeah, this is much easier to avoid. You see where the bubbles didn't, like, hit me? Yeah, you, you see? It, it won't suck me in because I, I'm not touching the bubbles. The programming here sucks. Genesis does what Nintendo don't. Make a dumb port. Make a shittier port. Make or make a shitty port of Battletoads. We're gonna try and make it easy, but we also break the game too, so it it's it's harder for all the wrong reasons if you got used to. It. Oh yeah, the lightning all work. All the lightning worked. Uh, fire off at different times, like in the original where it was all at the same time. Oh, and for some bizarre reason, Robo Menace doesn't get a get his own music, and his and his screen doesn't scroll up, scroll up all the way. I don't trust it. And he can just kill you whenever he wants to, randomly, if need be. Oh, let's see. He kills. Like, like in midair, like not even like using his feet, which is how he was supposed to do it. 
So this fight is super dangerous, but if you had, but if you had the stick, you could keep him in a corner. I just hope I have enough lives to like just brute force this, because, because he Robo Manus was really hard to fight in the original, but I kind of liked him for that, especially if you were good at juggling him. Oh, that was so close! And he doesn't jump after you when you uh, get hit. Oh, thank goodness. Dying twice is like, God bless. Well, 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 fancy seeing you here. What an unpleasant surprise. How? Oh. Go through the steel spaghetti toads and watch out for booby traps. Now we're in the Terra tubes. Of Terra! And of course they still use the music. And uh, let's see, I forget, but I think these guys still explode if you touch. Actually, no. No, these guys don't explode on you. Unlike the original where if you touch them, they killed you instantly. I'll have to do a quick experiment. A little bit of an experiment, eh? No, they don't! One thing I'm, I'll be okay with. Oh! Oh, oh boy! Wowie, wow, wow. Oh, that was... That is such a close, close shave. Then we gotta race these gears, which, um... It's actually easier than the original, because you can do this thing where you... Where you punch and you drop down really fast. We will need this for the rat race because the second rat in that race is a cheating bastard. He's a cheating bastard because the level design got fucked over. Or someone that was working on the level design overlooked something and uh, made the level unnecessarily hard. But it wasn't the rats that were hard, no. No, not with this trick. Wow. I was not actually expecting myself to get stuck there, so that's new to me. Yeah, but if you punch too fast, you'll like glitch through the level. So it was kind of a thing. I thought I was being super clever by like just punching my way all the way down during the race, but it ended up killing me at one point when I did it way too much and too fast. Always do things in moderation, people. Always do it in moderation if you want to live. So I didn't do it as much that time. I didn't do it there either, because there were spikes that I was aware of. Ah, oh, that'd be great if I could just, like, go through the level. Alright, watch out for these eels. These eels are bastards. Oh, yeah. Of course I have to fuck up the easiest, easiest gap to slip through. In the original NES, you had to time how you went through this gap to uh, do a shortcut, but here it's so big, even a noob can do it. Oh, jeez. Oh, if you're gonna kill an eel, kill it fast, because it will immediately, like, keep attacking you. Fuck me! No, oh, I don't want to do- I don't want to go through this level again, please, no. God damn it. Okay, I need to get some lives. Oh, what?! What?! Oh, fuck! Fuck no! Fuck no! That was bullshit! That was full so- that was full so- that was so full of fucking shit! through that all again, and, and yes, you're going to watch me do it all over. This is going to be one of those non-edited uh, Let's Plays. Because it's either all in or all out. And hey, who wouldn't want to see all my suffering on that? And oh my goodness, all those lives lost in, uh, in Wookie Hole. You really want to get those lives in Wookie Hole. I can't even, t I can't even like really tell if he's running or not, it's, it's really, it's very, it's, it's not very obvious. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Like you can kind of tell he is like moving faster, but it's still not clear enough. 
Plus, Genesis controller sucks! Especially for this game. Specifically in this game. Okay, there we go. Oh my god! Punch! Punch, punch, punch! Alright, I'm gonna take this a little slower. Huh. Well, that was easy. Usually there would be a lot more popping up. And their hit detection is even worse than the ones in the NES game. Oh, yeah, they made it much longer. Oh, oh, fuck! Goddammit, no. Me and D. Tyson got stuck there, too, because, uh, the fish... That eel is also in the wrong place. Because the fish... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no! That's why you have to kill the eels fast and not faster. Otherwise, that fucking garbage happens. But anyways, a hammerfish knocked D. Tyson into the spikes, and he could do nothing because uh, his toad got stunned. And that really fucking sucked. Oh god, that was that was lucky. I'm probably not gonna make it. I'm probably not gonna make it. But, you know, I've beaten this game before. You can see it on ANC. I'll die! Yeah, it yields. You either... Oh, you know what? Fuck you. Oh! If he hit me, he could have knocked me into that spike. I got lucky there. Okay, I'm gonna do this. If you punch in the water, just like in the NES, you uh, will stay in place, which is very helpful in some of the uh, races where you need to stand still. Okay, I'm gonna see where this deal is. Oh, of course! He's elsewhere. Come on. Okay, fuck you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run. Oh yeah, the sharks are much, much meaner in this version than in the NES one. And the, apparently the other one died. Alright, let's race. This is... Oh, fuck, that's hard. That's, that's cheap. Oh, yeah, these gears, they drop... They drop like hammers, so... Oh, God, so you gotta be extra, extra fast. It doesn't matter if they were in... They were on land or in air. They just drop like rocks. <laughs> Yes, we did it. Oh, no, what? what? What the fuck was that garbage? Fuck you, that was stupid. I hit the swim button, you prick. Oh, that is so unfair. Oh, come on, run. Oh, dashing here is double tapping the dash button on. Well, specifically on this Genesis controller, is not so great. Come on. Oh, that was so fucking retarded. Swim now, you prick. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna do it the other way because it's much safer. Hey, and that, that, that shark didn't come after me. At least not, like, not like, uh, Wolf, um, Thingamabob. Not like, um, the NES one where they always did. By the way, these ducks... You just gotta... You just gotta... You just gotta keep punching. Don't, don't even, don't even, like, try and time it is what JC583 told me. And I'll, and I'll, and I'll take his word for it. I wasn't expecting the stupid hammerhead fish there, because he wasn't supposed to be there! At least not in the NES one. That was bizarro. You're not supposed to bounce that high. Man, Genesis does what Nintendo don't. Don't make a good part of uh, the Battletoads game. I was more, always more of a Super Nintendo guy. But yet I still keep this game for review purposes and I got fucked over by this game because fuck you, the ducks. The ducks are positioned differently than the NES one. We got that weird thing going on. 
How long did I spend? I'm spending two levels. If I was playing the NES one, we'd already be at, like... In, in the first video alone, we, I would have already been, like, at Surf City and done that. And then in, um... The second video, I'd be, like, at the Rat Race. Stupid ducks. At least they look a little bit more like ducks. Alright, where's this fucker? Oh, in the face! Sizzle! Fo shizzle! My nizzle! Because you can't handle the whizzle, and the spikes on the ground are gone. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. And you got more spacious, and your t your, your monitor is not freaking out. The, the water is li literally just flashing for no good reason whatsoever. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Oh, this? This part was fucking cruel. I'm not talking about this part I'm going through. But the, the way the second copter was placed, two player here. Me and D. Tyson got stuck here for the longest time until I figured out if you do a little hop and then bounce forward, you will make it to the second copter, which is what, which is how you um do the snake escape. Rest assured, warp features, creatures. The next level's gonna go off, go like a bomb. Ha <laughs> ha! The bomb's at the bottom, so get ready, toads, and come on down. And the rat race, and you're gonna see some cheap bullshit here pulled by me and the game. So with that said, once again, no pause mu music. I'm Wizwar100, you're the viewers, and I'm the Let's Player. Be sure to check out my review channel, Laserworks Creations, and stay tuned for the next part when we go through the rat race. So with that said, see ya!